does peace mean to me? What should it mean to you? Peace is not an abstract idea. It's not a utopian, idealistic dream. Peace is possible in today's world. Although there are many countries that are not at peace, we see them, Afghanistan, we'll see what happens, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, countries in Africa, South America. Peace to me is the linchpin. It is a fundamental ingredient for prosperous societies. For societies, nations, and peoples to prosper, a fundamental ingredient is peace. Number one, you cannot have development without peace. And as Kofi Annan used to say, the three ingredients of a prosperous society, peace, security, and development are intertwined. And he threw in a fourth, human rights. You cannot have democracy and human rights without peace. You cannot have peace without democracy and human rights and rule of law. And without peace, democracy, human rights, and rule of law, there will be no development in the country. So they are all intertwined. Countries in conflict need to understand that in today's world, in the 21st century, we should have learned by now to resolve our conflicts peacefully. We study, we study the peaceful resolution of conflicts in think tanks at universities. There are theories and they can be put into practice. Finding common ground sometimes can be difficult, but it is essential to reach peace. It is essential to find common ground between conflicting parties. I have seen what the horrors of war can do in many conflict and post-conflict situations throughout my life, first as a journalist, and then for 25 years with the United Nations. I have been to cities that have been totally demolished, families destroyed, refugees on the run from their homes. It is a sad story, but one that can be resolved. One word, peace. And it isn't just governments that are capable of making peace. Do you know what they say? That, that war is made in the minds of men. Peace too is made in the minds of men and women and young people all over the world. They, the peoples of this world, you and I and your family and your society and your community, can ensure that your country and your society lives in peace with itself, peace with itself and with its neighbors. As the Charter of the United Nations says, it begins with three words that we at the United Nations are very conscious of and any students of the United Nations are conscious of. The three words are we the peoples of this world determined to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war, which twice in our lifetime, we've already had two terrible world wars, millions, millions of dead, horrible destruction and violations of human rights and war crimes of the most unspeakable kind. I think the world has learned a lot from those two world wars. But it seems that sometimes we forget. And what I want to say is that today on the International Day of Peace, we must remember, 
we must remember that if the world survived the horrors of two world wars, we should learn to build peaceful societies. Peaceful nations are prosperous nations. I, I am fortunate enough to live in Northern Europe where countries are at peace with themselves and their neighbors. These countries are at the top of the human development. The National Day of Peace is important. I think it's important that people all over the world commemorate and think about peace on this day. And who will you make peace with? Think about it. I think the International Day of Peace should become institutionalized in our societies. It should become as common as the other days we celebrate. For example, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is well known in your countries. The International Day of Peace on the 21st of September every year should be a day when we stand up and reflect on where we're going and how we're living. Peace, remember, equals prosperity. There are no prosperous nations that are not at peace with themselves and their neighbors. Peace is the linchpin of prosperous democratic societies based on the rule of law and respect for human rights and gender equality. And it is possible. So on this day, the International Day of Peace, I urge you, I, I urge you to look around you and see if there are any conflicts you can resolve with your neighbor, with your family, within your community or society. Because every individual counts. We the people count. And governments will listen to the people as they always have throughout history. If they don't, if they live in oppressive, suppressive societies, the end is not good. It may take time, but in the end, peace and human rights and respect for rule of law will prevail. So I urge everyone listening to this, on this day, look around you, make peace with those around you and speak up, speak up if you see any injustice, speak up if you see any disrespect for human rights. Don't think you are one voice alone. There are many other voices that will join in. This is the International Day of Peace. L let us hope, let us hope that every day will be a day of peace soon in our world. Thank you.